So if you are into vibe coding or if you are someone who uses AI for coding, this video is an absolute must watch for you guys. So basically today in this video, I'm going to share some interesting tools, websites and resources that you must be using if you want to, let's say, build something cool and ship it out faster. So if that sounds interesting, let's quickly get started. So if you want to build something using AI, the first thing that you will need is obviously a AI coding tool or let's say a vibe coding tool. And we have a wide variety of different options in the market right now. So here I have opened up lovable.dev. Here we have Tempo, Data Button, Bolt, V0, Cursor and Windsurf. And these are some of many AI coding tools out there in the market. And if I was about to, let's say, incorporate all of that into this video, it will literally take forever for me to cover all these tools. So first up, so the specific tool that suits your use case will differ according to, let's say, what you're trying to build and what is your specific use case. First of all, Lovable, Tempo, Data Button, Bolt and V0 are AI coding tools that you can access within a web browser. So you don't have to go through any, let's say, downloading process or installing any third party software. All you need is a web browser like Google Chrome, sign up for a new account and you can instantly start building whatever you're building. OK, so you can go ahead and sign up for a new account, put a prompt in here. So pretty much all these websites will have a section where you can enter the prompt. You just enter the prompt and start building it. And once you build it, you can include all the complex stuff like authentication database, uh, storage, payments, everything as such, and then even deploy it right within this interface right here. And now the cool thing is you can deploy it to, let's say, Vercel or any other platform right within Lovable or let's say Tempo or all these AI tools that are accessible within a web browser. So the good thing about all these tools in here is the fact that you don't have to download anything extra and everything happens right within a web browser. And the even cooler thing is that if you are a newbie and has no coding background or knowledge, then these tools will be the best for you guys is what I feel. So I have already created extensive video covering all these AI coding tools. And if you want to watch those videos, I'll make sure to leave a link to all these tutorials in the description of this video. And I've also created a video explaining and comparing all these AI coding tools. And if you want to watch that, click the I button above or again, link in description below. So the thing is, if you have no coding knowledge or if you are a person with no technical knowledge, these tools is what I'll prefer. So if you are about to, let's say, use Lovable, so Lovable creates apps in React. And again, the cool thing is it has direct integration with Superbase. So you can add all this stuff like authentication database and all that stuff directly within Lovable. And if you use Tempo, you have a couple of options. You can create a weird React based project, Next.js based project, and also Expo mobile apps, mobile apps using Expo as well. So if you that, if that's what you're looking for, you have options here, that is Tempo. And now another cool thing about Tempo is that they have direct integrations with payment providers like Stripe and Polar. And you can also use Convex or Superbase Polar, let's say, as a backend provider. And you can even incorporate authentication using Clerk. So that's the cool thing about Tempo. And when it comes to data button, they use React for front end and Python for the back end. And you can incorporate Lemon Squeezy or let's say Stripe for payment, Firebase or Superbase for let's say database and Firebase storage or Superbase storage or Amazon S3 for storage. And all of that is already taken care of. So with the first of a button, you can actually go ahead and incorporate all that to let's say data button. And Bolt.new is a little different because it gives you a wide variety of options. So as you can see, here we have options like Astro, Wheat, Next.js, Next. Then we have Vue.js, Svelte, Remix. You can create a wide variety of projects. And this platform also got, you know, integrations with, let's say, Figma, Stripe, and Superbase and all that. And we also have v by Versal, which is also pretty similar to all these tools right here. And now if you are a beginner and you want to, let's say, build something really quick without worrying the underlying or the technical stuff, I will recommend you start with these tools right here. Or let's say if you are a bit more advanced user or let's say you have basic coding knowledge or if you know how things work under the hood and if you want let's say total control over everything and build any kind of project then the two options that I would suggest is Cursor and Windsurf. So basically Cursor and Windsurf are two AI coding tools that you have to download and install and basically both of them are let's say a AI code editor built on top of VS Code. So you basically go ahead and download and install it on your computer and start using it. And again, the reason I'm not using any of these tools live in this video is that the video will be like forever long. So the thing I'll suggest you do is to click the link in the description below and watch a dedicated video explaining each of these tools. So you'll have a much better time understanding it. And now the reason I told Cursor and Winsurf is not really that suitable for beginners is that this platform does not really come with any direct integrations or anything as such. For example, let's say you were about to use Lovable or Tempo and you want to incorporate authentication and let's say a database to your project. Both these platforms allow you to do just that with press of a button. So you don't have to go through any complex technical or configuration process. 
But if you were to let's say do the same thing in Cursor and Windsurf, it will be let's say it will take even more work. You will have to go ahead and sign up for let's say the provider that you're about to use and then copy all these code, paste it into the AI and ask it to implement all of that. And then the AI might run into errors and you'll have to fix it, copy API codes and it's such kind of a mess, right? I mean, obviously it is simple, straightforward, but if you are a person with no coding knowledge whatsoever, it can be a bit tricky. And that is the reason why I suggest you to use these tools if you are a total beginner and if you want con complete control over everything and if you know how to code, then these two options will be the best. And now yet another thing that you can do is to use a combination of tools like Lovable or Tempo and Cursor. The thing is Lovable and Tempo has two-way GitHub sync. So whatever project that you create using Lovable will be synced to GitHub. You can then go ahead and clone that GitHub repo and open it up in Cursor and make all the changes and push all these changes to GitHub and all these changes that you made using Cursor will be reflected in Lovable and Tempo. And again, I have created a dedicated video explaining all that. And if you want to watch that, click the I button or link in description below. So the first thing that you got to do is to select a AI coding tool and if you're doubtful as to which one is the best, I'll make sure to leave resources in the description below so you can check them out. So first thing first, go ahead and select a AI coding tool or let's say a vibe coding tool of choice. The second tool or resource that every vibe coders need is a AI powered voice detection software. So this right here is Aqua Voice and Aqua Voice is actually a really great AI powered advanced speech to text software that you can use on pretty much all softwares and platforms out there and using it is pretty simple. So once you download and install Aqua, you can go ahead and open any, let's say AI coding tool or whatever tool and you can put the cursor in here. If I keep pressing the function key, as you can see, Aqua is invoked and whatever stuff that I'm speaking right now is being captured in real time and use AI to process it and then fill everything for me in this, wherever the cursor is. Okay. Now, as soon as I lift my finger, as you can see, Aqua is processing the whatever stuff that I spoke and it has filled everything for me. For example, let's say I want to build a landing page for my web development agency. For that, all I need to do is to keep pressing the function key and tell exactly what I want. Please create a landing page for my car rental agency based in New York, USA. Make sure to give the website a modern look and some sleek design elements. Make sure to include some animations as well. And now as soon as I lift the finger, everything is filled in nicely for me. And the best thing, you can't find any mistakes whatsoever. And that's mostly because Aqua uses AI in behind the scenes to sort of format everything right. So as you can see, New York, USA, everything is properly capitalized. And the entire sentence that I spoke is actually formatted really nice. So basically what happens is whatever stuff that you speak will be sent to their backend, which then process it using AI and then Aqua will fill it for you. So that's basically how it works. And if you want to, you can just head over to withaqua.com uh, or click the link in the description below and download and install it. And now the cool thing that I like a lot about Aqua is its deep context feature. So basically, if you give the permissions, Aqua will have pretty much everything on your screen in its context. So basically, Aqua can see what's happening on your screen. So the accuracy is going to be top notch and the chances of Aqua making an error is almost negligible or let's say nil. So if you want to use it, all you need to do is to click the link in the description below and download and start using it. And now I've been using Aqua for let's say around for about a one month for all my projects. And I'm really impressed with the quality and also the kind of accuracy this app is able to deliver. So if you want to, you can go ahead and download and use it, configure all these settings. And if you want to use it, all you need to do is to invoke Aqua by pressing the function key and you can start speaking whatever stuff that you want to. And now Aqua will fill it for you in seconds and that too. Aqua will process all your voice using AI and make sure everything is processed correctly. So that's for Aqua voice. The third AI tool that I want to introduce is called as test Sprite. So normally one concern that people have when let's say wipe coding is that the app that is developed by AI will have security vulnerabilities or let's say some flows and bugs and all that kind of stuff, right? And being a person with no coding knowledge or a person with no technical skills won't be able to, let's say, see if there is any error or let's say any bugs or security vulnerabilities, right? Well, this is where test Sprite comes into play. So what you have to do is you go ahead and build your product entirely using AI. And now after you build the product, you can go ahead and sign up on test Sprite and I'll quickly log in. And once logged in, you can go ahead and test the app that you built using AI and test Sprite will go ahead and run all these tests on behalf of you. So all you need to do is to give all the information about the app, the URL and all that kind of stuff. And now the AI will go ahead and check for security issues, bugs. It will go ahead and run front end tests, back end tests, functional tests, or let's say it will also do 
uh, stress testing and do all that kind of stuff and show if you have any problem with the app that you developed using AI. So the thing is when you build something using AI, the AI will tell you this is the best approach and I'm going to implement this and you'll be like, okay, let's do it. And at the end, the feature that you're looking for is working exactly like the way you want to. So everything works. But behind the scenes, there might be some security flows or let's say some kind of problem with the implementation, but the end feature might be working. In such cases, it will be very difficult or almost impossible for people with no coding knowledge to figure out if it is the right approach or if my app has insecurity vulnerabilities or things like that. And that's where Test Sprite comes into play. So you basically go ahead and run a test and now the AI will go ahead and intelligently run all these tests and gives you feedback as to what are the problems, how to fix it and all other details. So as you can see, here we have one of these test has failed so let me open it up and now I can find all this information so expected AI score in Winston but did not find it so we have a problem with this API route and you can find all these scores and also fixes and all that details in here so that is for test sprite so if you want to test your application that you developed using AI you can head over to test sprite and test it out next step is a components and UI library website called as 21st.dev and if you are into wipe coding, this is going to be a live server for you guys because you can find a bunch of these UI components within this platform and incorporate it into your AI project with the press of a button. So here I have opened up Lovable and as you can see, here I have a basic landing page that the AI has created. And now let's say I don't really like this hero section right here and I want to replace it with something very interesting. And now all I got to do is to go to 21st.dev and now I can scroll through this website and find a hero section that I like. So in this case, let's say, um, okay, I like this one. So if I click on this one, oh, this one right here is a really nice hero section, right? And what if I tell you, you can incorporate this element or let's say this hero section into your project in a single click. Let me show you. And for that, all you need to do is to click on this copy prompt option. Okay, so I can go ahead and copy the prompt. And now all I got to do is to head back to my project and paste the same in here. And now I can go ahead and say replace the current hero section with the one below. And now all I need to do is to hit enter. And now this code or the content that we copied includes all the code responsible for creating this uh, hero section. And now we have give the instructions as well. It is also already included in the code. And we just told the AI to incorporate this hero section into our app and replace the current one. And now the AI will go ahead and do its job and add this hero section into our app. Not just hero section, you can find a wide variety of components that you can add to your website or whatever project that you're working on in a single click. For example, this rainbow button right here, look at that glowing effect, really nice. And next up, here we have a tube light now bar. Look at that, which again looks super sleek. Okay, maybe this one right here. So you can incorporate all of this into your project with a press of a button and that is why 21st Dev is such a lifesaver. In which case, let's wait for the AI to complete the implementation. Alright, so there you go. Here we have the same component implemented as our hero section and it is working indeed. So it, this is how simple it is to let's say copy a component from uh, 21st.dev and you can incorporate it into your AI project with the press of a button and that's how simple it is. You can go ahead and explore all these components and if you feel like one of them suits well for your project, you can simply copy it and give it to your AI tool and the AI coding tool will take care of the rest. So that's for 21st.dev. Next up is dribble.com and dribble.com is a platform where you can find inspiration when it comes to UI and design side of things. So let's say you're building something using AI and you don't like the look or let's say the UI of the app that the AI has generated for you. Now the thing that you can do is to head over to dribble.com that is dribble with three B's and then you can go ahead and browse through the website and find all these UI inspirations or design ideas. And now all these AI coding tools out there right now have an option where you can upload an image and have the AI code your app just like the screenshot or let's say the image that you upload. For example, let's say I'm creating a dashboard for my app and now all I need to do is to head over to dribble.com and now I can go ahead and search for dashboard. Okay. And as you can see here, we have nice designs of dashboards that I could directly give. I mean, I can go ahead and take a screenshot or maybe download the image and give it as input to the AI and ask the AI to sort of code or let's say design something like this. And this is how simple it is. So you have, you can find a wide variety of different designs designed by various uh, designers out there and you can go ahead and just download the image give it to the AI tool and have the AI code something similar to this one 
and obviously you can go ahead and make changes on top of it and make this come your way so that's for dribble.com so this is like a really nice place to find some ui inspirations and design inspirations and kind of stuff like that so that's for dribble next up is a cloud deployment platform called as virtual.com so the thing is creating an app using AI is pretty simple. You can go ahead and give a prompt and then have the AI code everything and do everything and build the entire app from the ground up. But the code actually sits within an AI tool. And now if you want to, let's say, publish it or let's say deploy and make it live to the internet, how will you do that? I mean, managing all these DevOps stuff and, you know, sort of deploying an app, taking care of all the configuration, setting up the VPS or a server and doing all these kind of stuff will be extremely tedious. And I mean, if you are a person with no coding knowledge whatsoever, you will find it incredibly frustrating and it will almost reach a point it's impossible for you to do the same manually. And this is where Vercel comes into play. So basically Vercel is a one-click deployment platform that you can use to deploy your project and make it live on the internet with the press of a button. It's as easy as that. So this right here is the official website of Vercel and you can go ahead and sign up for a new account. And now the cool thing about Vercel is that, I mean, before that, if you were to, let's say, use a tool like, let's say, lovable.com or let's say lovable.dev, you can go ahead and create a project and once you create the project you have the option to push this project to github so as you can see here we have this github option you can go ahead and connect to github profile and then push this repo and create a new repo and push this project into the github repo and now once you have this project in github you can head back to Vercel and connect your github account to Vercel. and now i can click on this add new button click on project and i'll be able to see all these projects or let's say repos that I have within my GitHub account and I can click on this import button right here and now with the press of a button that is to say this deploy button I can host my project that is to say anyone on the internet can access my website and not just that I can then go ahead and add a custom domain and Versa will take care of deploying the app making it live on the internet and managing all these DevOps stuff for you and again if you have any environment variables and stuff like that you can expand this option paste it in here and you should be pretty much good to go. So it is as easy as that. So once you have your project in your GitHub account, you can directly go ahead and import it and host it and deploy it. It is as easy as that. So that is for vessel.com. And next step is this YouTube channel right here. So if you want to wipe coding or use AI for coding, and if you want to stay updated with all the latest happenings, the tools, best practices, tutorials, and all that, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I post a lot of this content revolving around vibe coding and AI coding tool, and you can find all these tutorials in this channel. I'm pretty sure you'll find it useful. So just make sure to subscribe and you can find all these incredible tutorials and all that kind of stuff for free. So yeah, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And now that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. So if you are into vibe coding or use AI for coding, these tools that I mentioned in this video will save a lot of time and also make a lot of these stuff very simple and digestible for you. For example, 21st.dev or dribble.com to find inspirations or let's say using TestSprite to sort of scan your code and find security vulnerabilities or any other issues like that or using Vercel to deploy it in a single click. I mean, you have all of that, right? So I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.